Hi, I'm Nico, the founder of Forward Pleasure. And in today's video, I'm going to explain to you why improving your intimate relationship is the best thing you can do to, well, heighten your bottom line in your business. Now, I hear you think, what has one to do with the other? Well, I have to talk about one of my clients. Let's call him Guido. And Guido is an absolute animal, a beast. He can work like a champ. He earned multiple six, he created multiple six figure businesses and he is one of the most dedicated people I know. However, however, his relationships, his intimate relationships were not that good. Quite the opposite, it, they were very destructive. He was with a partner that, hmm, that really, he had a lot of fights with him, with her. Why? Because she felt he was never there for her. He cancelled on dinners. He even was calling to, to handle his business when they were on a vacation. He was never really present with her. Now, we start working together because he worked very, very hard, but he still did not reach his ultimate goal, get to that seven figure mark. And so we start to work slowly but surely. And he was telling me about how his team started to never live up to his expectations, how his team was always just doing just enough. And so I started asking him a bunch of questions. <coughs> and slowly but surely, it became clear that the same things that were holding him back in his intimate relationships were the same things that were holding him back in managing his team. Now, what, and I have to go back to an amazing book called The Culture Code. And The Culture Code says, well, if you want to have a high performing team, there are three things as a leader that you have to create. The first thing is you have to create a sense of belonging, a sense of being acknowledged and, well, liked as an individual person. As a leader, it means that you have to be able to really be present, really listen to the other person, ask questions to learn more about not just the superficial things, but the deeper meanings, the deeper motivations, the deeper desires of the people you work with. And the same thing handles with your intimate relationship. If you are just on the surface, if you're never really present, if you don't take the time, to ask questions, to keep on discovering the path, person you're with, you will lose that intimacy. And the problem is that you will start to feel like you're two strangers living together. And this is of course very destructive because it will create pain, it will create conflict, it will take away energy that you can use for your business. So what you can do is you can start to really make it a priority to pay more attention to the people in your life, your partner, your children, the people that you're working with. Take your time to ask real questions. Take the time to listen and take the time to say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you is one of the simplest ways to improve the sense of we belong together. Then the second thing that is very important is vulnerability. That means that you just need to be able to show people like, listen, I am not perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect too. But I have high standards for myself. I want to strive for excellence. But alone, I cannot strive for excellence in my relationship. I cannot create an amazing thriving relationship that supports me in my mission and excites me alone. We have to do it together. How will we do this? 
same thing in business i want for example to have the most striving coaching business but i cannot do this alone how can you guys help me how can you girls help me how can we all work together to get this done or when i have an idea i can say i don't say this is what we're going to do i might say i have a cookie idea what do you guys think about this crazy idea and then we start to ask questions together we start to work together as like a giant brain that is much more than every the addition of every brain separately by working together we can create much more than we could create added together as separate individuals that's the second thing then the third thing and when you do this when you're brave enough to be vulnerable you allow other people to be vulnerable too to take off that mask of perfection to take off that mask of i have all the answers and acknowledge we don't have all the answers but what questions can we ask to create answers that can help us learn that can help us do things in a different way a much more efficient way a way that brings much more in my family or in my business then the last thing a very important thing not only in business but to me also in intimate relationships is purpose what is the purpose the purpose of an intimate relationship in me is to get the deepest connection and to me the ideal relationship is a relationship that motivates me that helps me to become even more of myself to become more than myself to grow as a person so i want to feel safe i want to feel i belong i need to feel curious because my partner is evolving too continuously he's not staying the person that we met 10 years ago or five years ago or three years ago or even a day ago no she's developing herself i'm developing myself and together we can help each other to create a third entity the relationship which can help us grow and so when we do this we can really create a life together that both of us separately and together could never so we are ourselves we stand we connect with ourselves with our values with who we want to be My, your partner does the same thing and then you stand together you not leave in charge as two needy people but you stand here you choose to stand together to move together to go separate to connect more with yourself and then to get close again because if you're here if you're always intertwined there is no space for desire to grow there's no space to really grow because you're leaning on each other it takes a lot of time a lot of responsibility a lot of hard work but when you learn to stand on your own two feet connected with yourself grounded then you can choose to bridge this gap that there is between us to be comfortable with closeness because you know if it will be taken away even though it will be painful you could handle it and separation because you know you trust that you can get together and when you don't get together when you are in a moment that you feel it is not there anymore you are strong enough to go your separate ways but let's not do that let's stay for now together but the same thing happens in your business when you have this purpose where you all are excited about something that makes you heart pounds a little bit faster make you feel excited then together you can have that stretch goal you say i want to go this it seems almost impossible but i know when we create our personal stretch goals that together can help us reach that ultimate stretch goal together then we can think okay which are the things we can backtrack this is my personal stretch goal which are the things that we need to do which are the key performance indicators for us to reach that goal same thing you can do in your intimate life which things can we do to improve our intimacy to improve our communication to make sure we have that desire so we can develop which means we need to allow some separation 
when we do all those little things, plan and key performance indicators, key enjoyment indicators in performance, in business and in your intimate relationships, well then you are ready to grow beyond where you are right now and get to where you want to go to.